everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. Uh, we did random, we played Eve, and then we played Eden. So I think uh, the random run was the Eve run specifically. There's our seed. Subawa cult. You guys want to join the Subawa cult? What do they do there? Um, I'm Got some work to do before my funny voices game is on the level it needs to do to, to you know, play into YouTube's superstardom. Gotta get myself from the YouTube Z list up onto at least the D list, because there's some huge privileges down there. Should have said huge benefits, that would have made more sense. In any case, I don't have anything to talk about here. When you start a run as Isaac, what a, ooh, what is there to say that has not already been said? I'm Isaac, he's a good character. The D6 is probably Functionally, maybe the second best space bar item in the game. It might literally be my favorite space bar item. I really like the the implications and consequences that it has, you know, over the course of an entire run. Usually, on on average, at least um, one bomb for six cents is a pretty sweet trade. This, at least, basically, I'm trading one bomb for either a spirit heart or a um, a blood bank. Chance, blood bank, chance. Oh, and second bomb got us the goat head, followed by a crawl space, and the crawl space contains the goat hoof. We just got the goat transformation. There isn't a goat transformation, but if there were, we would have gotten it right f in there. Uh, I don't really care that much about the goat hoof. It's not bad, but I don't need it. Uh, but the goat head is is quite nice, and we don't need to blow up everything because we already know there's a crawl space, and we've already been to it. If somehow we could get the ability to fly, that would be awesome, but I actually think that the goat head is going to sound crazy, but hear me out. I believe that the goat head does not actually give you a deal with the devil on the first floor. Now, I would be very happy to be proven wrong about that. Had to turn off my speech centers in my brain to get my dodging center appropriate there, but uh, I don't think you actually get a, uh, a payout from the deal with the devil until the second floor, even with the goat head. But I could be wrong. We'll find out, I guess, if that's going to be true. And if we get the ability to fly, I would... Yeah, see? If we could get the ability to fly, I would then re-roll how to jump into maybe, like, like Polyphemus has a tendency to be in there. But I don't know if they're in, like, their own item pool. Like, bullshit items. Now, I didn't have, unfortunately, the opportunity to pick up a Spirit Heart. Be well, because of my own design, basically, I used my, uh... My last key to open that golden chest, which I wouldn't necessarily say it didn't work out. We got Goathead out of it, which is probably more... V Actually, that's a very good point. We don't really need to worry about our deal with the devil precedent. Because I already... Oh, fuck this room, man. I gotta wait till you get, like, all the freaking way out here. Oh, don't do me dirty like this. Oh, thank God. There's gonna be two more of them on the other side. They're not the same champion, though, thankfully. Um, yeah, wh why am I worried about uh, deal with the devil precedent? We have, or not deal with the devil precedent, but deal with the devil qualifications. We're gonna qualify for the deal with the devil, there's no way around it. That's a very positive feeling. Let's go earn ourselves uh, an IV bag and a lot of money, and then reroll the IV bag into uh, tears upgrade. If that comes true, I'm gonna be very happy right now. Don't really like this layout for, uh... Why did, man, I guess it's because there was a champion and had a set payout, but still, this is a really good payout to have right next to an arcade. There's a chance that my, my prophecy comes true, man. I know there's another key back there as well. Don't worry, I would love to take advantage of that key. That sounds wrong, but you get the idea, you know? I, I will use it to my advantage and its own advantage as well. What good is a key without a lock? I bet we can make it out. I bet we... Okay, I'm gonna come around to the other side. With a couple of bombs, we can do some really good stuff with those stone chests. Uh, or that stone chest, for that matter. We have three stone chests on, like, the first four rooms of the floor. That's just ridiculous. So we'll probably try to make our shop happen first. It's a little... It's a lot premature to call this a one run. But at the same time, we have so many advantages relative to where you would normally be at this point on a run. More HP than usual as a character who starts with a decent amount of HP. D6, fully charged. Lots of money. Not a whole lot of keys, and actually consumables are a little bit of a sore spot right now. But we have the same effect as Judas with the deals with the devil. We lack Book of Belial, which is bad, but also good. It's bad because we won't get the damage bonus, but it's good because we have an open spacebar slot. I wouldn't necessarily call it a wash, but, you know, it's, uh, 
it's not an enormous problem. I... I mean, the, here's how this run goes south. Let's talk about, uh, by the way, if you live in any the south of anywhere, you know, everywhere is south from somewhere, unless you live in, like, Terra del Fuego or something. Um, McMurdo Station in Antarctica. But anyway, um, uh, yeah, this is actually, I, I'm going to use my bomb here first, which is not maybe as prestigious as some stone chests, but hey, we got a bomb back for it anyway. Stay the heck out of the way here. Now we got two keys, so we should be fine. But uh, the way that this run goes south, and it's looking like real good right now, uh, is deal with the devil on this floor is red chess. Deal with the devil on the next floor is Krampus. Then deal with the devil on the, ne the floor after that is red chess. You know, we just never get a good deal with the devil precedent. Eventually, we succumb. We say, fine, we're, we don't need it. We'll do deals with the angel. Then the deals with the angel give us, like, dead sea scrolls, and they just f freaking suck, right? That's pretty much the only way that this happens. But if we get if we catch at any point, then we should be looking pretty pretty good here. Pretty 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 good. So we're still going to have 23 cents. I may go back and buy the battery, like the big battery. I don't think this is actually going to blow up the stone chest, but I'm going to try. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that might happen. But we can buy another bomb, that's fine. I'd like to buy the red hearts as well, because I'd really like to get the payout one way or the other here. But let's go solve our deal with the devil situation first. We got Blue Baby's only friend. I love this item. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I guess I'd rather get this first, because it'll probably give us about three cents back anyway. And then we'll see if we get some bombs here. Or we'll, we'll tackle this, you know, bridge when we come to it. We still want to maximize our number of advantages here, so... Somebody on the subreddit, I think this really exemplifies how uh, diehard the Isaac community is. Somebody on the subreddit found out that with the D10, you can actually reroll Blighted Ovum's baby. We definitely want to go Synth Oil here, which is just a, a staggering realization. I'm going to take it for the chance to become Guppy, and because, you know, we're not going to have any shortage of deals with the devil now that we have precedence, I hope. With Goathead, of course. Um. That's, it's shocking that somebody even tried that, but that's hilarious. If I, it, I'll, I'll do my best. I wish I had remembered their username so I could actually give credit. I do this shit all the time. Thank you to TurdFucker69 on Reddit for coming up with that one. But, um, for real, if I get, uh, if I do an Eden run and I start with the D10, which has happened once already, then all I need to do is fight the Blighted Ovum. So already you're dealing with like a, uh, that's a very, very good chance. Just the standard Venn diagram, runs where you are eaten, runs where you start with a D10, and then runs where you uh, fight the Blighted Ovum on one of the first two floors. Not a problem, should be easy. Where the hell am I here? Please let me let me go. Uh, Curse of the Maze, man. Okay. Uh, unfortunately, I think that means it's time to blow this up. Just didn't pay out, and we basically got four cents for that bomb, which is not great. The battery is pretty good in conjunction with the uh, the D6 because we'll have we have a full charge right now. We might as well get get to work on doubling it. Basically, is my philosophy there. And let's just make damn sure we don't die on the next floor. Blue Baby's only friend is gonna help out a lot with that, actually. So let's just take our time, do our due diligence. It shouldn't be too much of an issue here. So temporarily, I'm basically just going to use, um, you know, Blue Ludovico technique here. And this will basically destroy all these enemies. It's so good against enemies that have, like, multiple phases, like you just saw right there. Like, against a um, an Envy or a Fistula, it's a huge help. It's almost like having your own Daddy Long Legs, because of the way Daddy Long Legs, uh, you know, still does damage to enemies just when they spawn. Blast Assist is another good example of an enemy that would get shat on pretty hard here. Yeah, that was really good, too. Okay, that's good. That's good. I was hoping maybe we'll find a secret room that's close to our uh, curse room. It doesn't seem like that's going to happen, though. So I do want to go to the curse room. We can't really, in good faith, well, in good faith we can. In good conscience, though, we can't do it right now because I am getting a little low on HP. By design, I mean, all of the HP that I've lost so far has been via curse rooms or blood banks. So I'm not feeling like I'm playing terribly, but just, you know, circumstances put us in a position right now where we can't really feel... Uh, too safe going to that curse room, even though we will, you know, be able to guarantee ourselves to deal with the devil. Liberty Cap, I'd say it probably beats Goathead. Goat Hoof, sorry, it definitely does not beat Goathead. But it probably beats Goat Hoof. 
Which I've appreciated thus far, but it probably helped me out a lot against Blighted Ovum. Death's Touch for free, not even on a deal with the devil, is extraordinary here. Uh, weirdly enough, you may disagree with this, but I think that Blue Baby's only friend is still going to be stronger than our tiers temporarily. That's how much I value this item. But uh, it, it depends on the room. There, there will be some rooms where I will you know, disagree with my own logic there. Let's check this out, even though there's a secret room down here. We have PhD, which I would love to get. That's our second secret room, I think. Um, let's see if we can manage to make PhD happen. I don't think we're going to find ourselves in a position where we're uh, going to be able to take deals with the devil that kill us. Like, I really don't think that that's even possible, but I'm a little too mentally lazy to run the math right now. So I'm not going to buy a Spirit Heart or, you know, Red Heart or anything like that. I'd rather just not pay for those to be replenished, if possible. I believe the cost for that will be on the house. And we've got two rerolls ready for a potential deal with the devil. Now, this situation... Ah, this is perfect. Okay, so we want to get Blue Baby's only friend... Ooh, hoo -hoo. We want to get uh, Mega Fatty, I should say, in a position where Blue Baby's only friend is hitting it at the same time. I, I can still shoot it without disrupting Blue Baby's only friend, you know, it, it, its way of attacking here. And that's really going to allow us to deal a ton of damage. That was the easiest Mega Fatty fight I feel like I've had in a long time. I haven't decided what I'm going to take first. Um, but I will tell you that I'm not going to take Mom's Knife. We've had it a couple times lately. Dark Bomb is great. I'll take that. We'll reroll this bad boy into our second guppy item. I don't mind that. And I kind of hate both of these, but I think I'm actually going to go with Matchbook. Um, because it gives us the black heart, which is a little bit more meaningful right now, is my thinking on it at least. Uh, so D Dark Bomb is huge. Demon Baby is not. Just take that for now. Um... We've been to our shop, we've been to our item room. I will go to the curse room because of the guppy implications. But apart from that, we'll just head down to the next floor, I think. So the timing doesn't really matter too much here. And we're guppy. <laughs> I wish I wish I could be madder about that, but I can't. We're guppy, we can fly, and we got a contract from below, which is just disgusting, along with Dark Bum. That'll be amazing for us. Now we can probably say, you know what, Blue Baby's only friend, thank you for your help, but we're gonna, you know, go our own way and call it another lonely day here. This is an absurdly overpowered seed, and the D6 is helping, but a lot of this stuff is just kind of sitting there out in the open. Uh, let's, let's head down to the next floor. This one should be another notch on our streak here. I'd be very surprised if we ended up squandering this one. Stranger things have happened, I guess, but uh, it's it's very unlikely. Did I even... I gotta go pick this piece of crap up so that I can actually use this. And then that'll mean that we'll fight... Um, that was not an XL floor last time, right? Yeah, we'll fight Pestilence here. Oh, yeah, this is... <laughs> I mean, anytime we can get Blue Baby's only friend to help, it's good. But, man, we are better off with our own tears now for sure. And here comes Dark Bum paying out like crazy. You know what? I'll take a Ringworm on this one. Just to make it silly. It gives us like a huge shot speed increase, I think. And also, may actually help out because we have piercing shots. Like, on rooms where enemies are kind of weirdly segmented. Uh, not weirdly segmented. Just offset from one another. It may actually allow us to hit both. Of course, it's probably going to stop us from hitting enemies in a lot of situations as well. But, you know, so be it. You, I mean, this is like a few runs in a row now where I'm like, we've pretty much just gotten super lucky. Like, I would love to be like, well, Northern Lions trademark skill gets them through again. But really, this is a situation where uh, the game is being incredibly kind to me. And, uh, oh, excuse me? The game is being incredibly kind to me. And all I have to do is not completely squander the opportunity now that I'm given it. I mean, look at this, like, dark bum contract from below interaction here. Oh no! Dark Bomb paid out with one unfriendly spider! It's no good for us, man. It, weirdly enough, almost looks like we have homing shots. Even though it's ringworm. Uh, I'm gonna place a bomb like here. That was actually pretty good. I'm still bad at, at choosing where to pop those down. Let's just stand like right next to it and maybe we can... Oh, there we go. It's actually colliding. So we can get Counterfeit Penny. Not a huge fan. And no Steam Sale, but the, the money is what it is, you know. 
This is a huge floor. Like, we, if we wanted to do boss rush, we'd want to be out of here within, like, the next, uh, 25 seconds, basically. If not earlier than it already is. Um, but this is a big floor, and I guess I've been taking my time. You'd think with this, uh, this much killing potential, boss rush could be, a uh, kind of a no-brainer, but that is not appearing to be the case right now. We got a question mark and magic mushroom. That's going to help out a lot. I mean, we got a luck downgrade in the process, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that uh, magic mushroom is probably better in its in its absolute direction than uh, luck down is in its absolute direction. It's got a higher magnitude, let's say. Not a huge fan of having to waste a second bomb, but that's pretty much entirely 100% my own fault. Money's balling out of control, and... Uh, we got another deal with the devil coming up. I mean, I'm not sure if I would rather have Lump of Coal for the guaranteed damage bonus or rather get Krampus' head and then re-roll it into something that could be even more amazing. I just really don't... I actually don't want to get Curse of the Unknown Brimstone because pretty much that's what we had um, last run even. I can't remember if it was... Because we've done... A, or I've done an NLSS since then, like a stream. Oh my god, another guppy item. Uh, I've done a stream since then, so, uh, you know, that run is starting to bleed in there as well. There's another two Deal with the Devil items we just took out of the rotation, which, as far as I'm concerned, is great news. You know, make it so the pool is smaller and we can only get uh, better things, maybe. Although, I will say, it doesn't look like we're going to actually uh, have a reroll ready. So, I guess we're going to be hoping for Krampus' head unless we get a battery uh, just off the ground, which is possible, but unlikely. Two spirit hearts and bombs of key? I can see forever. Hmm, okay, well there's our second secret room. This is Dark Bum's time to shine, no question about that one. And then we'll leave and uh, hopefully get some spirit hearts back here. That was an unfriendly spider, you jerk. I figured we'd come back here just to try to find the second secret room. Or sorry, I guess it's the first secret room. Now that I look at it, we've, we've already freaking been to the secret room. So I am uh, effectively the world's dumbest man, and that's all right. What I lack in that, I make up in some other nebulous attribute, according to my mom. You don't want to know what your mom thinks about it. <laughs> Torn photo for sure. Fuck the orbital. Although I think it's funny that we used... Um, is this the floor where we used Book of Revelations? That must have been the last floor at this point. But it still gave us the option to pick up the ball of bandages. Uh, yeah, okay, I can see forever definitely beats the magician. And Torn Photo, I don't even need to reiterate it, but for real, it's one of the best boss items in the game. Now that I actually know what it does, I ask for it all the time. Shots are looking weird. They have, they have a little period where they travel in, like, the negative direction. If there's any chance that you could drop Skeleton Key, that would be awesome. Feeling a little bit, uh... You know, key poor here, but that's pretty much just the only thing we're suffering from right now. It would still be nicer to get keys than to not have them. If we're talking in obvious platitudes. Um, maybe like a bombs or key pill here. But I know we're not going to get bombs or key. Instead, they're just going to give us like... A bunch of... Okay, that's even better. I, was, I wasn't I was going to complain there, by the way. I was actually going to do the opposite and be like, we're going to get a lot of amazing stuff because that's how this run's going right now. Um, I almost just want to play the shit out of it because we have Dark Bum anyway. Might not be the greatest idea, but I'm going to... Like, let's put it this way. We can afford to lose some spirit hearts here without putting ourselves at risk at all. Two of spades. Uh, let's go in here first, and then we'll pop two of spades. I, I guess I should have bought this first. Um, maybe I shouldn't have. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Do we know this pill? It could be good. It's pretty decent, actually. You might think I'm crazy, but I actually think speedball's worth taking here. Lovers, that's for you, Dark Bum. Fool, Moon. Uh, we already have I Can See Forever. I think that beats the Moon card. What was our... We had, a. Uh, some other cards, but I think I'm going to go Stigmata here. The damage upgrade is great, and hopefully we can... I mean, we're not going to get Guppy's Paw, obviously, but hopefully we can pick up some deals with the devil that up our damage. Like, the Marker Pact, Ceremonial Robes, anything along those lines would be fine to, to bleed off our extra Red Hearts and allow us to get the benefit of permanent Polaroid invincibility. Man. Without, uh, without Mom's 
key. I'm kind of suffering on these golden chests. I'm still hoping that at some point we hit like equilibrium on them, but it hasn't happened yet. We're gonna do this, this song and dance again. Again, I'll bleed some spirit arts here. We've already got some on the level to begin with, and we're getting so many red hearts that I mean, we just pop that. It doesn't even really matter. We don't know blue pill. Lemon party's pretty good. I always seem to use Lemon Party when I don't need it, though. I guess because, pretty much by definition, I'm using Lemon Party on rooms where there's no enemies. So I would never... with my st It's like the same way I use the Sun card on rooms where there's no enemies. It's very stupid, is what I'm trying to say. Could have re-rolled Missing Page 2, but, you know, the, the Devil... Or, sorry, Demon Judgment doesn't always give you Devil items. Like, um... The speedball pickup is not a devil item, so anytime he gives us a half-decent devil item, I figure we might as well take it just to nullify the pool a little bit more, or make the pool stronger, I should say. So there's the halo, and finally we have our Krampus fight. The halo pickup is obviously great. We just got Judas' shadow, which I would, I would probably classify as a, a pretty shitty uh, devil deal for us in our current situation. But we got it for free, so who cares? I guess I could have rerolled it again. I didn't really internalize that I had the battery there. That was not smart of me. But we've already we've also taken it out of the rotation now, so there's positives and negatives. The negatives are better, or sorry, are greater than the positives. But um, it's not all bad, I guess, is the way that normal people would probably describe that tower card. Yeah, this could be good. Being a little bit more conservative about my key usage for now, I would like to open those, but I I just don't have enough keys to feel great about it. I don't have enough bombs to feel great about that either. Or to do it at all, for that matter. I got enough money, that's for sure. I would say that right now we probably uh, don't really need the left hand, if I had to guess. You know, okay. Oh, okay, I got one key back. I don't feel so bad about that because that also gives me a bomb that I can then use down here. What I was going to say, which will give me more keys. You know, I actually want those uh, dark bumps. Since we're already at the HP cap, I might as well take advantage of them. And then we have more bombs that we can then use up here. And we get another black card out of it. I don't know if that was a, a great turn of events or not. But, you know, it is what it is. Still don't need anything from there. There's a, a theoretical but not entirely just academic chance that we uh, could do boss rush. That's how fast we're going right here, but it's gonna have to be like right here. And it's not looking like it's right here. That's okay. I'm not too concerned about it, all things considered. Balls of steel? Meaningless. Bombs are key? Could become important, actually. I, you know what? Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Bombs are key, even though we only have two keys. Blow up this thing, get small rock. Oh! Or maybe just pick up a sweet ass crawl space! For a red chest, for a teleportation to the devil room, for a troll bomb. Well, for a minute there, that looked like I was a goddamn savant. But didn't end up working out that way. Let's move along. I mean, you could get that if you want to, Dark Bum. You're gonna have to be faster than that, though. Did I say I'm the quickest there is? So if you're barking up the wrong tree, we come and don't be starting something. Me and my partner are gonna test your chest, Loveless. You can't stand the heat. Get out the crawl, crawl space. Seriously, though, the crawl space is rarely that good. It, it, it doesn't deserve its own Will Smith rap song. Um, unfortunately, I mean, tell you what. Living life lavishly right there. Wasted a reroll to get a full reroll, even though we already had a full reroll. I don't think there's a way for us to get into the the shop via the secret room. I'm really hoping we pick up some keys here. I mean, you'd think it would be plausible considering how many fucking, like, regular chests we're getting. Oh, okay, so there's one key. So the, I mean, oh my god. The obvious way you do this is you go to the shop first and then there's probably going to be a key for sale, which there's not. Um, so you buy the map and then you donate a trillion cents, but first you see this pill just to see if it's... Uh, Bombs are key, which it's not, but that's also fine. If we can get over like... Oh shit, man. If we can get over 400, I'd be thrilled. This is the first time we've really started making progress back in the other direction. 
you know, for a long time we were under 200, and then for a little while we were under 100, but now we're we're starting to push the upper limits here. Shouldn't have bought the map. I should have rerolled it a lot uh, because we had so many rerolls available, and maybe we could snag like mom's key or something like that. It's all academic at that point, though. Like we're gonna win this run so hard. We'll buy an Necronomicon just to take it out, and then we'll uh, re-roll it. Rotten Baby's pretty good. I'll take it. You know, it's not the pack, it's not the mark, and we could've, uh, oh no, we couldn't have. We could've re-rolled it once. I thought we could leave and get the batteries and then come back and get the batteries and come back, but we couldn't because it was the, uh, it was the mom fight, of course. Uh, bottom left is going to be our uh, boss fight. I'm nearly 100% confident. It sounds weird to say, because Dark Bum, like, definitely does not need a buff. But sometimes I wish there was, like, a 1 in 100 chance that Dark Bum paid out with an item. Like, you could you could restrict his pool and make it just, like, you know, stat upgrades, maybe. Ooh, alright. Um, this is our last deal with the Devil. I'd prefer to get something a little nicer out of it. This is not what I want, but I will pick it up because it's a book. You never know, you know? <laughs> if that one teleported me, I don't even know what I would have done. But, um... Like, because the, the reason I say that is not because Dark Bum needs a buff, but because that would make it so that I would be more thorough about letting Dark Bum pick up all the red hearts, even if I'm already at the HP cap. I'm not saying it's it's a badly designed item, or even that it would be good design to make it even better than it already is when it's already overpowered. I'm just saying, man. I'm just saying. Pretty fly. Yeah, that's good. Lemon party. What's this one? Bad gas. Uh, why not take nine lives, you know? Why not take every item out of the pool that we possibly can, I guess? We're like quintuple guppy now. And this is a pretty good example of how ridiculous the goat head... I mean, it hasn't always been the goat head. It's worth noting, we got three guppy items from curse rooms on this run. Even if we hadn't had the goat head or any deals with the devil, we still would have probably become guppy. I don't really want that, to be honest with you. Uh, and we've got enough rooms left here to develop at least one more charge. In fact, there's a full charge back there. It was just, like, next to some shit that I didn't want to pick up. Can't remember why. It is tempting to like go back for golden chests, but uh, I'm not really that worried about it because four keys is really where I want to be anyway. Mm, I mean, Book of Belial is good, man. We're taking the books out of the rotation here. I guess we're resigning ourselves that we're going to take a range upgrade here. I don't care which one of those is better. There's a chance that one of them is like five times the range the other one is. It really doesn't matter in our situation right now. You know what? Let's fuck it. Try it. Kind of a wash, but we'll uh, do that and get to our secret room. And we did get our full battery charge as well. So let's come back. We might. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, we're probably able to get one more full charge. We have the battery. We might as well get a head start. Um, there is a tinted rock in here as well. Small rock would make this all worthwhile. Hi-o! Three cents, that's pretty good. Check this out, live in lavish. Expensive dishes, exotic fishes, this kind of shit is fucking ridiculous. Man, I like really kind of don't want these. Let's see if we can get one more charge. I mean, if we're down for the ridiculousness of this run to begin with, we might as well just keep it going, you know? It's our last deal with the devil, man, and all they've given me are active items. One, two, three, four, five. If every one of these rooms has combat, we have a chance to get a reroll. If any one of them drops a battery, it could give us two batteries. Dark Bum, if you don't get a speed upgrade for yourself, you might end up being fucking cut. I got to imagine that one of these is probably a self-sacrifice room. Oh. Well, we... We have the battery, so we could pick it up, but if we pick it up after we have a full charge, it'll give us a second full charge, whereas right now it would only fill up our first charge. It wouldn't give us, like, six charges. That means, like, six incremental charges. Ah, uh, but it doesn't matter, because there's no enemies in that room. So the best we're going to be able to do here is one full charge. 
What's that? Did Northern Lion just min-max a little bit? Bet your bottom dollar I did. I, I Well, I min-maxed in my head. It didn't actually end up manifesting anything on the screen here, but you get the idea. <sighs> da, 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 da. What do you guys think? You think we can win this one? I don't know. It's a little tough. <laughs> a battery. Ah, well, I thought the dream could last forever, but it can't. That's okay, though. We we took a lot of books out of the rotation. Now what we need to do is find some libraries. If I was a boss room, I would be top right for sure. It's the path of greatest resistance. Forces us to go through this room right here. Um, I would kill for, like, the judgment style arcade. No, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. Yeah, I deserve that. I could have gotten out of the way. I really deserve that one for taking uh, Ringworm in the first place, I guess, is the easy argument there. All right. This is not the direction of the boss fight. I'm a little surprised, honestly. Uh, probably bottom left is the next, you know, that's not Occam's Razor, but it's like Occam's Trimmer. If he's a little too lazy to use his razor, then he'll just trim it up and come down here, probably. That's for you, Dark Bomb. I appreciate it. Thank you. Really efficient payout there. I will absolutely go to our curse room. I'm an idiot. <laughs> hey, there you go. I can see forever, at least. So we'll probably get to go to our second secret room. There's no reason for me to have just left there, though. And, oh. I can see forever. Paralysis. Paralysis. Pretty fly. That's our third, maybe our fourth, actually. And that's a really good bombs or key, actually. So let's play this guy first. He might give us the actual compass. As opposed to the fake compass that we've been trading in for, you know, which is inside of my brain. Anything, uh, anything at all going on here? Portable slot? I mean, it's okay. If you, if you play portable slot in here, does it just pay out with, like, a fuckload of pills? Oh my god, maybe it... No. <laughs> well, actually, it's it's hard to say, but it's more pills than I would have expected thus far. Now ah, that's like a legitimate bomb, though. I'm just going to keep mashing the button here, because, like, we don't really need our money for much at this point. If we can get traded for bombs or keys or spirit hearts in the form of red hearts, that's fine by me. And we don't really have to keep at it that that long. This is actually turning out pretty well. This portable slot, man. Gets kind of a bad rap, or I gave it kind of a bad rap. And then people told me, hey, idiot, portable slot's actually pretty good. And I said, hey, well, you know what? I've independently come to the decision that portable slot is pretty good. I'm trying to quietly mash the spacebar item. Dark bomb. Oh, we got some good stuff for you, my friend. That's a, that's a friendly spider. Okay. I respect that. Puberty, that's fine. Lemon party. I can see forever. Balls of steel. Oh! You know what? I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do this uh, nonsense anymore. But I appreciate it while it lasted. Uh, I'll take balls of steel just in case. I actually think we, we go play this guy a couple times now. Maybe even more than a couple of times. Get him to pay out with something. It's risky, but then we can get double the value of our rerolls. That's another balls of steel pill, so that's pretty sweet he's gonna pay out man two of diamonds don't burn me on this one you motherfucker even if we got down to one red heart I would expect to win kind of pissing me off oh there we go cherry card gives us that's all he only has to do is milk us dry and then give us a couple free plays and I'm like thank you for being so generous oh but it's all worth it Polyphemus on this already ridiculous run. There was another spirit art back here I wanted to come back for. And we get the eh, lemon party I can see forever. Let's take I can see forever. Yeah, that's going to make us pretty powerful if I had to guess. So let's uh, head up to the cathedral. Feeling pretty good about that. Remember when I said that the D6 is like, you know, strategically maybe the second best spacebar item in the game? I'm starting to revise that. I'm starting to think I might have been wrong. Maybe it's the best. You know you're having a good run when the most annoying thing is how long the enemy death animations take. You're like, you know, oh, 
Monstro 2, could you take a little longer when you die? Two of those bad boys, huh? Eh, I should probably do it because it'll take us two seconds to kill all the enemies that results. Hmm, yeah, Bob's brain. Don't mind if I already did. We get like double monster or quad monstro? Quad monstro. Shit, man, three of them died and I was only shooting in two of them, two of their directions. Oh, again? Store credit, pulse worm. I'm sorry, ringworm. Pulse worm takes precedent for me. Uh, if I were a boss, I would be bottom right. I didn't really look because it was pretty linear up until this point. Uh, yeah, Black Lotus, you know, Black Lotus is uh, uh, like one of the best space bar items in the game. Or not, not space, but secret room items in the game. Uh, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. This run has all the luck, which means if there is a fair uh, force in the universe, we should probably have a really shitty run next time. But Isaac sometimes comes in, you know, fits and spurts, which we all do. If you think about it. So I'm... Oh my god. That's really good. But I'm going to ignore it. Um, Tammy's head would make me replace the D6. Because it would just be crazy at this point. I'm probably better off with the Empress card. Not that it matters at this point. We're literally like killing five enemies with one shot. Mostly thanks to the flies. Like the flies... Oh my god. Just tearing them apart here. What's our next run? Next run's gonna be Eden. Probably. I like to throw an Eden run in like every other run. Cricket's body, chemical peel, uh, and two things I'm not an enormous fan of. So we'll, even though Celtic Cross is good, we'll reroll it in the hopes of getting extra damage. Neither of these are extra damage. Cricket's body is just extraordinary. Normally you don't see tiers that cover the whole screen like this until you get sad bombs or, oh, I should reroll. Until you get sad bombs or, um, Cricket's head. Not Cricket's head, but yes, Cricket's head. Tammy's head is what I meant to say. You might be saying, Northern Lion, you just got um, Gemini and the soul. Am I am I a bad person for not taking the soul? I th it's so good, but at the same time, I'm like, what do I need it for? Just let me stack up extra damage for absurdity's sake here. Like, just, just let me uh, get some ridiculous high damage. Like, we already have it, but let me get even more ridiculous. When you're going through heaven, keep going. You can pick up the red hearts if you want, but we're already... You should just be at the bar, honestly. You already did your part, Dark Bum. Then thank you very much for your help. This is how good this run is. I'm re-rolling Gemini and the Soul and being like, yeah, whatever. I will take Mom's Contacts. Our boss fight is probably only going to be about a second and a half long anyway. But this does make our tears substantially more ridiculous. You also know you're having a great run when your items kind of mess with your brain a little bit. <laughs> like, as you shoot, you're kind of like, your, your brain is getting a little confused. It's possible that I might have some undiagnosed neurological condition that that's also indicative of. I don't know. It's a the theoretical possibility. It's some kind of mixed up fantasy world where I don't want to take the, the soul. But I'm kind of like, maybe I should take Isaac's heart. That'd be funny. Priorities are all fucking backwards on this one. Now we need his holy mantle. Now that I've said it, it'll probably show up. This is crazy. And of course we found the boss, but I'm not gonna fight the boss right away. Have you seen the shit that we got going on here? You gotta run like this, you gotta savor it, man. Get your skis shined up, grab a stick of juicy fruit. The taste is gonna move ya. Everybody thinks I made up that, well, not everybody. Within the, our, our sphere of influence, many people think I made up that jingle. It's ridiculous. That's the real fucking Juicy Fruit jingle. They just apparently had no sense of self-awareness when they made it. Um, I'll take Daddy Long Legs. Now, here's a, we get to raise Daddy Long Legs every room to see if we can kill the enemies before Daddy Long Legs gets to even attack. These are both helpers as well. Um, I know we have a full battery charge, but I kind of wanted to get one last reroll first. But now I see the only way that we will do that is if um, we fight the boss. And after we fight the boss, we're not going to have any enemies to test our damage on. So would you rather take Thunder Thighs or Maggie's Bow? I would rather take Maggie's Bow because Thunder Thighs gives us a speed down and there's no skulls or rocks to crack. 
So we get Sissy Long Legs. I really doubt Sissy Long Legs is going to pay out with a single. Um... Oh, we should look for secret rooms. I really doubt Sissy Long Legs is going to pay out with even a single spider. Could be wrong, though. Wow, game, thanks a lot. Not letting me find the secret room. Such bad luck on this run. We'll use the Emperor's card as well, because it's just ridiculous. Um, that's pretty much guaranteed. Ah, it's not guaranteed. It's this one or the one just to the left of it. Second secret room, not that meaningful, but uh, if we could find a key beggar in here, that could be awesome. Not a key beggar, but Monstro's Lung. Okay, so are we going to kill Blue Baby in one hit? I think the answer to that question is probably yes. So let's come in here, face the wall, so that we don't accidentally uh, hit him with Bob's brain. Pop the Empress card. Yeah, okay. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed that run. It was a pretty tricky one. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.